In a week that has seen football postponed up and down the football pyramid due to the coronavirus outbreak, the National League South goes ahead today with Dulwich Hamlet hosting Hemel Hempstead Town at Champion Hill. Despite a better performance at Wheelstone last Saturday, the Hamlet fell to a 2-1 defeat with both goals coming in the space of a minute in the second half. Searching for just their second win in 11 games, they recall Clunis, Vose and Kearney in place of Monacana, Christian Smith and Mills. Hemel have gone more than a month in all competitions without conceding as they look to make a late dash with the playoffs. In midweek, they proceeded to the final of the Hertfordshire Charity Cup with a 5-0 win over Royston and Sammy Moore is able to rotate and bring in four new faces this afternoon. Good afternoon to Ev, listening in France. Smith for Vos. Another one back in the lineup today. Ainsworth, Barbosa, shooting from distance. It's just rising, it's hit the stanchion behind the goal. Don't think it was going to in any case. McCoy into Barbosa, drive into the area. Clunis. Back towards Barbosa, there was an arm across him, was there? Sterling got in his way. Barbosa looked round the referee. Taylor making the point to Joel Mannix that he felt there was an arm. On the ball now, though, is Jake Evans for the visitors. He's dispossessed by Barbosa, has a look up. Curls on forward towards Kearney. Mistake by the defender. Grimshaw out of his area before Kearney could get there. Dickinson missed the ball completely. Nice and sunny and warm there, very nice. In comes the second corner then. And header on, Essen got there. Another Dulwich. Man got the uh, deflection on it, all he was going with Essam. That's an easy grab for him, didn't have to move, only half a yard in front of him in the end. Fires on downfield to Jarvis, the only man in red in that half of the field. Send it to the left wing to Dobson. Three ahead of him. One being Jarvis down the middle, trying to get on the end of it, and he does flick it on. Lovely ball that fall by Dobson. Jarvis heads it straight at Granger, couldn't get any power or placement on it. Clearly put a ball out for a throw. Widrington, pass in field, finds Howell on the edge of the D, on for Pogamu, 18 yards out, the right back forward, and drills in a shot which is too hot for Granger to handle, and he spilled it behind for the corner. I think the shot was straight at him, but he couldn't hold on. David. Granger, under pressure, and he's given away to bits and edge of the area, and there's a shot from distance and Granger just to claw it away for the corner. Well, it was his mistake. Dobson with a rising drive. Granger makes the save and he apologises to his teammates. Completely his fault that. Hemel have men behind now. Taylor into Barbosa in the centre circle though. Releasing Clunis on the right. Up against Tyrone Sterling. Overlap for McCoy, but Clunis sends in the cross himself. Deep ball, Ainsworth. Oh, he, well, he tried to place it back across towards Kinney. Wonder if he could put his foot through that. Taylor again on the right wing. Into Vose. Lovely first touch from Don Vose. 20 yards out on the right side of the area. Onto his left foot. And Vose shoots, takes a deflection. It'll be a corner. Took it away from the goalkeeper, but took it wide as well. That little nick off Mitch Dickinson. So free kick wide left. Dobson. Low ball in. Mitten stoops. Mitten heads wide. To adjust his bodies, get low. To clear as far as Luke Howe. Diagonal to the far side. Not down into the area to Midson. He's put behind. Final 30 seconds before we reach injury time at the end of the first half as Dobson sends in the corner into the six yard box. Granger came, didn't get there. And the ball came off Connor Essam. Granger was on the ground. The ball actually rolled into his path. Launched in by Dobson. All who nods down. Flick on, oh, stabbed into midriff for Granger. It was flicked down by Evans, and I'm not sure who it was. May well have been Howell. And that's the last touch of the first half. Dobson in towards the six-yard box. McCoy got his head on that. Goes down holding his head. Shot from Evans is blocked. Referee's not spotted the head injury. McCoy went down immediately holding his head. The referee has now only just spotted it. Now play to go on Evans, struck a shot against Kearney. He looked round the referee because his arms were up on his chest. Dollars of nine men, back, uh, nine men back defending this. Dobson flights it in. All who didn't get enough of touching it. Essam can bring it down and strike it goalwards. A few deflections in there and stabbed in. A scrappy goal. And it's Aaron Jarvis who has prodded home from all of a yard out. All who's header 
going straight to Essendon. He struck a, a shot goalwards. Granger couldn't hold on to the ball. And with bodies around, Jarvis has stabbed it home. Barely any uh, applause around the ground. Almost stunned silence in this place. He scored two goals midweek. Foes, Nathan Smith. Well, that's good footwork. Smith will drive in a low ball. Into Ainsworth. Good touch. Line of Ainsworth, 1 1. Big goal. Big goal from Ainsworth. Lovely turn and finish from the little winger. And in the 66. Really important goal. Low ball in by Nathan Smith. Ainsworth turns superbly and fires in a low shot past Grimshaw. Well, the uncertainty of this season, that could be a massive moment from Lionel Ainsworth. Ainsworth, the scorer to take. A very deep looking ball. Head around the back. Oh, off the line by Pogamu. It was David flying in, headed it back in to a dangerous area and it's put over his own crossbar by Pogamu in their possession. Grange ball downfield to Granger and he's gone for goal! Oh, Grange, well, Dylan Kearney from 35 yards out has brought down the ball and he's lobbed it over the goalkeeper and it's just swerved wide. This is Barbosa nod it down. David will just try and get there. Head of Corley's not done so, and the runner off him was Evans out to the left. Dobson flashes a shot from distance. Oh, that's not far wide. Smith, Vose, Nathan Smith again. Lovely turn from the fullback. Sends in another cross towards Kearney, brings it down 12 yards out, back to goal. Kearney trying to wriggle free. Still Dylan Kearney. The shot takes a deflection, spins away to the far side. Ainsworth picks up the ball, drills it back into the area. Oh, Barbosa! Another shot, yes! Barnes! Barbosa's shot was saved. The ball came to Barnes, he sorted his feet out. His first goal at Champion Hill. And Dunnage have turned this game on its head. Aaron Barnes thrown into the game. He's more attack-minded than Marvin McCoy. He showed that there by turning up in the penalty area. And Dunnage lead for the first time today. Well, Kearney had the original shot, it spun away. Ainsworth then drilled in low ball. Barbosa met it so sweetly. And it came to the path of Barnes. Can they do their job? It does do their job. And then Nathan Smith heads behind for the corner. Shouts of offside. Line of Ainsworth and Aaron Barnes have given Dulwich a huge, huge three points this afternoon. Ends the rut for consecutive defeats for today. What a great victory that is in the context of the season. It may well be the last game we play this season. We don't know. I thought um, our intensity, uh, especially as the game went on, was very good. Um, we're obviously 1-0 down. Like you said, we're on four straight defeats. It would have been very easy for us to, uh, to cave in and stop working, but I'm um, really, really proud of the character uh, that the boys showed today. They all worked hard. They worked even harder for going to go down um, and showed a lot of ambition um, to, to go and get the winner. Um, <clears throat> we kept Dom and, and Lionel on because we felt that uh, we needed to go for it, but they had a bit of quality in the other team's half that we felt that we needed. And I um, was really happy that we, we worked it down the outside. Nathan crossed the ball and Lionel scored. And then Lionel's cross for eventually the goal from Aaron was important. And that was important for us as well. But um, hard work with a bit of quality is what we needed today. And we got, we got uh, the three points. One of the best things as well, heads didn't drop at 1-0 down when it may well have done. Yeah, I mean, um, over the years, like we've... We've won a lot of games here at this club, but they've not always been easy. Um, we've had to come back from behind over the years, and you win in all different ways. And it's good sometimes when you, your team shows that type of character. Um, one nil down, um, fighting spirit. That's what people want to come and see. They want to see uh, you beat the odds sometimes, and that was really good to see that, um, our boys show that fight. Those 50-50 battles out there, our boys didn't um, pull out of any challenges throughout the game. They really did battle hard. 
Yeah, she had a lot of personality, I thought. Um, Quaid in, in, in midfield. Um, regardless of how well we played, uh, still organising people, uh, motivating people. That's, that's the type of personality that you need uh, and characteristics that you need. Richard and uh, um, Nathan Smith pushing people on, driving them on. Sometimes that's, it's important because sometimes you can feel sorry for yourself as players and you need others to lift you. And I felt that um, those characters um, in particular uh, really helped and showed a lot of personality. You need a bit of inspiration as well, something creative, and the goal was certainly that wasn't from Lionel. Lovely first touch and finish. Yeah, we worked it well on the outside. Nathan got four across the ball. Um, and like you say, his first touch was good. And when he's in that area, uh, Lionel, you think that he's going to score because he's, um, he's very good technically, um, doesn't miss a lot. Um, so, yeah, very good. Barnsley, more of an attack minded fullback than Marvin, you brought him on. Was that with that kind of situation in mind, getting further up the field? Yeah, well, one nil down. Um, I think you probably see from our bench that we've got a lot of uh, injuries. Uh, Danny was on the bench injured. Um, Tremere's away for family reasons. So we had to be as creative as we could to, to try and get some ascendancy in the game. Um, so Aaron came on and, like you say, he's, um, he's an unbelievable uh, athlete, gets up and down the pitch well. Don't really know what he was doing there at the time, but I was very happy he was there. Um, but that's the type of ambition that he will play with. Um, so yeah, really happy with, with his contribution. There's a lot of uncertainty at the moment with the coronavirus. Um, obviously the professional leagues have been uh, suspended for the next month. National League has gone ahead today, it may well change. Uh, the season may well be the, might, might be the last game today, we never know. So to have that win and make sure we're not in the bottom two, whatever happens, it's, it's an important three points how you look at it, isn't it? 100%, 100%. Just imagine um, the season actually ended and we, we ended up in the bottom two. That would have been like, you'd never be able to not turn away from that because you'd always look back and see and see that so um, we did have a little giggle about that before the game said so we don't want to be in that bottom two but obviously this is a conversation that we shouldn't be having but we are here and we have to be we have to deal with our reality and that is our reality um, the thing is we're here everyone's here we're all worried about the coronavirus but this is always obviously what we want to do we want to be out there on uh, playing football matches and playing in front of our home support and, and, and winning games but obviously we have we're, we're all humans and we've got families at home and we obviously got to worry about our health and be concerned about that as well so whatever decision they come to we have to get on with it.